Welcome back to Anime and Beyond. 2019 was a great year of anime. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. Today, we're gonna do a 2019 recap of the most memorable anime episodes. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Let's get it! And at number 10, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. This anime surpassed the original, and in all honesty, should probably be anime of the year. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get to the real list. Number 10, Fire Force, Shinra vs. Captain Burns. Shinra, who is part of the special Fire Force Company 8, challenges Captain Burns to a fight. In this fight, Shinra wants the captain to give him answers about the fire that took his mom's life. In order to receive answers, Burn tells him to prove himself worthy of handling the answers he seeks. In this fight, we see just how powerful Burns is as his body is cloaked in an aura of fire. We also see just how far Shinra has come in improving his abilities as a third and fourth generation. Let's just say, the captain really felt the burn in this face off. At number 9, Vinland Saga, the fight between Thors and Ashland. There are plenty of memorable fights in Vinland Saga, but none were as effortless and as cool as this one. Thors made quick work of everyone, including his fight with Bjorns, and didn't kill a single warrior. We get to see Thors fight honorably and beat Ashlad both mentally and physically, only to end up sacrificing himself for his son and his friends. Thors showed us what a true warrior really is. At number 8, Black Clover, when the Black Bulls protect Finral. Fighting in a tournament to earn a spot as a royal knight, Finral faces off against his much stronger and younger brother. Possessed by rage, Langer seeks to take Finral's life as well as the win. But Finral's squad has his back. This scene would make anyone wish that they were a Black Bull. Black Clover gets a lot of hate for their animation, but there's no denying that they did this scene right. At number 7, Dororo, when Hikimaru snaps. After regaining his hearing and becoming sensitive to sound, the only sound that doesn't bother him is the singing voice of a young woman named Mio. However, after deciding to work for both armies, Mio and her family were considered spies. Hekumaru's dark side came out when he realized his soldiers killed her. This scene was both gruesome and breathtaking as Hekumaru takes his revenge. Number 6. My Hero Academia, Mirio vs. Overhaul. The destructive adversary Overhaul and his clan attempt to use and abuse the poor Eerie for their own agenda, that is, until the young hero, Mirio, steps in to save the day. Mirio uses his power, or quirk, as well as the teaching of his teacher, Nai-Ai, to maneuver and overpower Shi Hasaki. Although this fight came at a cost, it was surely a fight that left everyone on the edge of their seats as we see Mirio fight for nearly five minutes without a quirk. Number 5. The Promised Neverland, The Escape Emma and Ray continue their plan of escape on behalf of Norman, who recently tried to escape and failed. By creating a fire, Emma and the kids were able to alarm the mom, who requested everyone to be sent outside, which was all part of their plan in the first place. Thanks to their practice, during the playtime, Emma and the kids were able to escape from the orphanage as they someday hope to return for the other kids. Wow, I wish I was that smart and talented as these kids were when I was a kid. Number 4, Dragon Ball Super Broly, Gogeta vs Broly. In this movie, Goku and Vegeta are forced into a corner when confronted with the powerful legendary Super Saiyan Broly, who is said to have the power of Azaru, that is the great ape form, and is able to control it in his base form. With this threat, Goku and Vegeta decide to fuse in order to take out this formidable opponent. This is one action-packed fight you don't want to miss. Number 3, Mob Psycho 100, The Teleporting Fight. 
Shimazaki, the teleporting esper, wanted to make the point that he was unstoppable as he took on Teru and the gang, showing off his amazing abilities. From transporting from buildings to the sky, Shimazaki showed just how dangerous he can be. Although Teru eventually figures out Shimazaki's movements, Shimazaki powers up and ultimately defeats Teru in the game. That is until Reagan intervenes. Wait a minute, I thought this was Mob Psycho, not Dragon Ball Z. And at number 2, Demon Slayer, Tanjiro Nezuko vs. Rui. As one of Muzan's 12 demon moons, Rui seemed unbeatable after breaking Tanjiro's sword with his webs and capturing Nezuko. For most of the fight, Tanjiro was on the defensive. But once he regained his composure, he used Hinokami Kagura dance breathing and goes on the attack. This led to one of my favorite moments of the year, when we hear Nezuko speak for the first time and see her use her demon blood art to give Tanjiro the opening he needed to cut off the spider's head. With so many great moments in anime this year, we figured we'd do a few honorable mentions as well. First one, Dragon Ball Super, Mastered Ultra Instinct. This moment was so good, we had to include it. And yes, it did come out in 2019 on Toonami. And our last honorable mention is every Nezuko moment, because come on, who doesn't like Nezuko? And at number one, Attack on Titan, Levi vs. the Beast Titan. With the fate of humanity in their hands, the service corps makes their final charge and biggest sacrifice. This gives Levi the element of surprise, as the Beast Titan experiences the same fear the service corps has been feeling all these years. Thank y'all for watching. Let us know what y'all think about these top 10 lists. If you think that the list should be the way it is. Um, if you think Dragon Ball Z should be number one, just saying. But let us know what y'all think and if we should do future videos such as this. As always, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this top 10 list. What do you think about this video and how do you like it? And don't forget to let us know what your top 10 list is. Also, follow our friends on their YouTube channels as well. They're linked in the description and also on our channel page. Jay Frizzle and Clammy for gaming, Richard Lydon for short films, and Trey today for vlogs. We also do stream on Twitch, so if you want to check us out, go ahead and follow us on Twitch as well. I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see y'all next time.